Oscar-winning director Richard Linklater tells us about his spiritual sequel to Dazed and Confused in today's Entertainment City. But first, we're talking about Justin Timberlake, Enemy of the Sun. <laughs> Justin Timberlake versus Cirque du Soleil? Yeah, the Canadian performance troupe is not doing flips over JT, specifically his song Don't Hold the Wall from his 2013 album, 2020. Which Cirque claims ripped off one of their original compositions, Steel Dream. Cirque du Soleil is suing Timberlake for a minimum of $800,000 for copyright infringement. Also named in the suit, Timbaland, who helped write the song. Kendall, please, Kendall, please, thank you. Sounds like Kendall Jenner, you know, the supermodel who's currently taking over the world, or at least the world of social media, has a new beau. Rumor has it the 20-year-old has been secretly dating LA Lakers player Jordan Clarkson. The two of them were spotted out in West Hollywood the other night, plus Jenner recently attended a Lakers game, presumably to support her new guy. But wait, what about Harry? Jenner has been linked to the One Direction singer on and off for the last couple of years. In December, they were spotted getting cozy on a yacht. Guess that's history. have not earned teammate status yet. Jake, Bradley. And until you do, you're nobody. It's one of those stories where new guy right off the boat with yeah. an empty bag, you know, showing up somewhere. Because that's how college feels for so many people. The jocks get revenge in Richard Linklater's latest. The Oscar-winning director of Boyhood is rocking back to 1980 with Everybody Wants Some, which hits theaters today. I'm seriously worried about these new guys. Oh! Play a good game, man. So you called it a spiritual sequel to Days and Confused? I always said that to kind of orient people to Toward the movie, even though it's not the same characters as Days and Confused. But for me, developmentally, that was my high school movie, this is my college movie. From the title, Everybody Wants Some, uh, Van Halen is, holds a special place in your heart. To me, it's a metaphor for life at that age. I guess the appropriate title wouldn't be Everybody Wants Some, it's like Everybody Wants Everything. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. want everything and you kind of expect it, you think it's your birthright. What if the album doesn't belong with us? You don't know. Michael Shannon stars in the mysterious Midnight Special, a sci-fi chase movie that will keep you wondering. I think it's about perception. There's a lot of mechanisms in place right now in the world to try and keep track of everything and see everything that's going on, and yet there's things that still elude us. You don't have to worry about me. I'll always worry about you. I like worrying about you. It's the latest flick from Jeff Nichols, who's had Shannon in all five of his films, and Shannon himself is fresh off his role in the record-breaking Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I've been really privileged to watch his career um, go to these extraordinary places. And, you know, I was sitting right there with everybody else asking him, like, what was it like? How did it go? You know, was there champagne after every take? Midnight special hit select theaters today. Welcome to my it's that time again, the biggest WWE event of the year, WrestleMania 32 happening on Sunday. Obviously, it'll be full of superstars, and the one we're most excited to see, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, of course, our number one wrestler turned actor. Looking back, I can appreciate the great challenge that it was, because you know, when you're in it, sometimes it takes a moment for you to get off the treadmill, stand back and go, wow. I just did that. No word yet on if The Rock will actually take to the ring, but if he does, let's keep him safe so he can return to the beach with Zac Efron for that Baywatch revival. And as always, remember to get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at NCity.